So let us look at the instructions for step number nine. Okay, it reads as follows. Uh, deselect the picture, apply a three point page border to the document using the shadow setting. Okay, then after doing this, you're supposed to select the first style and then display the color palette. Uh, in the fourth column, uh, select the first color. Okay, so that's basically what we are going to do. In this case, we are going to do it step by step. Okay, we'll first focus on applying uh, a three point border to the document using the shadow setting. Okay, so let's go to our working document. Uh, to in, to include a border, just deselect this one, okay? Click on anywhere except on this particular image, okay? And then go to layout. This is my favorite approach. Come on, don't select anything. Go to layout and then click on this icon here. See, uh, under page setup, uh, click on this small icon here. Uh, after clicking on this icon, you'll get some options. Okay, then go to the last option. The options give, given here are margins, paper, and layout. We want to focus on layout, okay? And then click on layout. Okay, so under this section here, you will notice that we have borders here. So this is what we are interested uh, on. So click on, click on these borders here. And then you'll get these options. Go to shadow, click on shadow. Uh, and then you remember they told us that the width is supposed to be three points. Click on uh, 3PT. Uh, after clicking on 3PT, you need to click on uh, open the color palette and then select. So this is the first color and then you click OK. OK, so after doing this, you can check if you actually done everything that the instructions uh, specified, okay? So we deselected the image, we applied a three point page border to the document using the shadow setting, uh, select the first style, okay, we did this, and then display the color palette in the fourth column, select the first color, okay? We have completed everything under this step, okay? So let us move on now to step number 10.